jumped up in this line. All right, guys, we're offshore once again. We are doing some bump trolling with some live bait. We've already hooked up on our first fish, and we haven't been out here very long this morning. But I'm going to go ahead and ask you right now. I'm hooked up on a nice mahi-mahi. But go ahead and start liking this video. Like it like crazy. If you like my videos and like watching our channel, please like it. I would really appreciate it. All right, now i got to get this fish to the boat. We have got a small schoolie dolphin, also known as a mahi-mahi. Uh, for those of you who think I am actually like fighting a dolphin fish, um, which is or porpoise, a mammal, I'm not. This is a dolphin, aka mahi. So basically, I have him in the water here. He's very, he's fairly small. So I'm trying to see if there's any other mahi around. Uh, the dolphin like to hang out in packs. Sorry, he just went under my other line. They like to hang out in packs. So I'm just trying to see if I can see another fish down here, but I don't. So we're going to go ahead and just flip him into the boat. But usually if you keep a fish in the water, more and more mahi will show up. But unfortunately, this is not the case. Oh my god. All right, I'm getting him in the boat. Yeah, this little go. guy is going crazy. I'm going to flip him in, I guess. Yes, he's 24. Okay. All right. All right, check him out. Finally got him in the boat there. <laughs> I was fighting him for too long, but gorgeous fish. Look how pretty they are. He is lit up. This is a schoolie dolphin. He is a keeper. They have to be 21 inches long. So this guy is 24 inches long to the fork. And we're gonna go ahead and put him in the, the fish box. He's gonna make great fish tacos. We are now kite fishing. And we don't get to kite fish too often. So we finally got a little bit of wind. That's the what we wanted to do first thing this morning. Uh, but there was really no wind. So it's finally picked up enough to where we can kite fish. So we got the kite out. I've got two baits on the kite and I am flying. I am working the lines and just trying to keep the flow up so that way, um, you know, they are presented properly to the fish and hopefully we get some nice fish right now. We also have lines off the back. We have a flat line and we have a down line. So hopefully we got poachers out, we got live gogs out. So hopefully we get something more than just the dolphin. Um, but it is gorgeous out here. And I also want to give a big a big shout out to Jason Falk, his birthday and his bat mitzvah. And uh, Jason Falk is a really big supporter of mine. I even seen Jason out fishing. He's got a little Carolina skip and uh, he's big into fishing. So happy birthday to you and uh, thanks for following our adventures. Hey guys, we're still fishing. We're not giving up. We are trying everything in our power to catch fish for you guys and create some awesome content for you guys to watch. And um, we're, we're, I don't know, the bite is slow today, but we're trying. We've got the kite out. We've had the kite out for a couple hours now and we've moved locations quite a bit, just trying to locate some fish. We did a long drift before and on that drift, we had those flat line pilchered out, like I told you. We had the gogs on the kite. We didn't get one bite. So we decided it was time to move, set, reset our drift, so we did. Um, and Frank is going to send down a line for the mutton. So we got everything covered, the top of the water, the middle of the water column, the bottom of the water column. And um, yeah, so now it's just like waiting on a fish. But it's a gorgeous day, like I said. No boats out here today. It's a Thursday. And uh, there's no boat pressure. So it's not from the boats. It's not because there's a whole bunch of people out on the water. It's just, I don't know, the fish are not biting. So we're gonna keep at it and uh, we're not giving up until we catch a fish. Well, hopefully we catch a fish before we give up, one of the two. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not giving up until we catch a fish or three o'clock, because that's when we're going home. I don't, listen, I have to rant. I don't wanna talk about anything, Dark Sizzle. I want to rant. We came out here today. We came out one day and pre-fished for a skipjack. We bought a fish yesterday because our sister loves muttons. And then today, we want to catch fish and catch pelagics. Everyone's been catching fish. We're out here. There's no other boat pressure. It's a beautiful day. We got a kite up. I'm on what's called the Juno Ledge. If you guys are from Southeast Florida, you heard of the Juno Ledge. It's pretty much the best fishing spot in Southeast Florida. In Palm Beach County, Jupiter area, it's the spot. If you go fishing offshore, there's everyone lined up fishing it. Commercial guys, real guys, no bass guys. Googans. Googans. Everybody. Weekend warriors. Weekend warriors. 
You can get in here, Sizzle. Uh, I have a kite up. I just drifted over to Juno Ledge uh, with a kite for like an hour and caught not one bike, not one fish. And not to mention with multiple other lines out, pilchers on top, middle water column, bottom. Like I said before, we are just not getting bites. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm pretty mad. About another half hour to go and Sizzle is uh, tr gonna try to catch a mutton. I can't resist. She can't resist. We got Frank on the kite over here. Got noisy clickers. Those are good clickers, those are accurate. Uh, our accurate spike catch fishing reels. We just got them all re-serviced or serviced. And uh, those clickers are working great. Awesome. I love good clickers. You guys want me to tell you about kite fishing? All right, now I might have told you guys about this before, but this is the kite rod. This is the rod that flies the kite. That's a Daiwa 750 Telecom Bull, pretty standard. All right, and this goes up to a kite line that goes up to a kite. It's right in the sun and real far away, so I'm not going to show you that, but it's up that way. And that kite line has clips on it, just like an outrigger does. And you, Frank, get in there. Don't be scared, Frank. Say hello. Hello. All right, silent Frank. All right. So all these lines, these lines here that Frank's on, they go to uh, clips, just like on an outrigger, and then the baits you know just hanging out of the air from the kite line and so all the leader and everything is up and the fish is just swimming around blah 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 and and the fish cannot see any of the, the tackle or the hook or anything because they come up and the fish is here with the tackle suspended in the air and it's really quite a great setup if you know where the fish are that you can't really move around a lot like trolling so you got to know where the fish are that's why it's very popular down here but it's great because we're drifting Darcy's over here bottom fishing we got bottom lines down for kingfish and stuff Frank's got two or three baits up on top over here, and still, we're not catching any fish. Let's go to this hole. Taking some steady drag over here. My little SR6, getting worked. Woo! My hands are rod, too. But uh, we just, like we said, we've been, you know, having these pilchards out on the flat all day and just no hits. So we just checked our pilchard, and then we just started to, you know, let it back out. Just, it was free lined I'm sorry, the bale was open and um, it was just running out. And I saw as I was bottom fishing, I'm like, oh, there's a fish on, and the fish totally hit this. So went straight down, taking a decent run. Just not really sure what it is. We've got like 20 pound mono, no, 20 pound fluorocarbon on this. So uh, just pray we can get this fish to the boat on this little fluorocarbon, fraying my leader. But I did do a loop knot, so I've got like a double leader. Let's see what happens. Ooh, he's pulling. It's like a tuna. It's a freaking black fin. Black fin. Black fin. Right there. Perfect. Woo We're taking home a tuna black fin. <laughs> We're taking home a football black fin. Check them out. This is a nice one. All right, check them out. Nice football tuna. I'll definitely take that. But where there's tuna, there's more tuna. And uh, the last two days, we've been catching skippies. Skipjacks, so it's nice to finally see a black fin. So um, Frank is sending out another bait right now. Sweet. I guess the bite's turning on over here. Dropped down the line on the bottom after we caught that black fin, and right away I just felt some peck, peck, pecks, and then boom, fish on. Now here's my weight. Oh, we got a mutton, baby. Give me that. Yeah, give me that. Let's measure him on the sea deck ruler. That's an 18 inch mutton. Yeah, he's over. He's on zero. Yeah. And just want to make another note to you guys as well, for those of you that fish here in Florida, sorry for the clickers, they're very loud. Um, but the muttons, their size limit has changed. So starting January 1st of this year, 2017, the total length needs to be a minimum of 18 inches. And that's a big difference from 16 to 18. Two inches is a lot of a bigger fish. And I've seen people at the fillet table still playing illegal muttons. So I just want everyone to know the new size is a minimum of 18. What do you got, Sizzle? Hmm, not sure here. It's a mutton, I'll be shocked. But we'll find out what this is. Bites turn it on. A little short mutton here, but you can see that mustad hook. You see this mustad hook right in the corner? Very nice, must have 3 -0 circle hook just comes right out and now we can release this fish. We're gonna put him on a sequelizer and send him down. Comment below if you think my ramp before turned on the bite. 
What do you think, Sizzle? You said comment below if you hate that rant. Now he wants you to comment below if, if you, you love. Turn on the bite. So comment, guys. You gotta comment something because <laughs> he's like, I don't know. You guys gotta comment. You see how? You see how they talk to me in the boat? I just want you to talk. I want someone to talk to me nice. That's all. I'm talking nice. <laughs> Now we're fishing, guys. Watch out, we're gonna cross you. Behind. This guy's coming up. Yeah. Might be a keeper. It's close. Come on, Frank. Come on. Nice. This guy's short. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Where's he hooked? All right, this bird just dove and got our. Uh... It was nobody's fault. You went about six feet underwater. Yeah. You went about six feet underwater for this stupid thing. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny video. It's gonna be funny video, everybody. When I grab that bird, you're gonna grab these scissors. No, I'm not gonna cut his foot off. We're gonna cut ball, the but I don't, you know, I'm not gonna need you on that rod no more. And I'm not gonna have two hands holding this bird so it doesn't hurt himself or you or me. You just gotta grab his beak and control him. I don't know where I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna grab him somewhere. I, don't, I haven't figured that part out quite yet. Go on his way. Yeah, I, know, I know, I know, I know. Shh, 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 Good job. Hey, Frank, come here. Gotcha. Come on, Frank. Curl off the best you can. Oh, the hooks is in the leg? Yeah. Alright, get those manlies. Manlies are right I, I there. I cut them a little bit. I cut them very little. Where's the hook? You got the hook. Alright, I'm going to let them go. Yep, Alright, good. Nice. I'm Birdman. Alright, so we caught two mahi, mutton, a bunch of short muttons, a tuna, and a bird. What kind of bird was that? Uh, some type of seagull. Some type of seagull. I don't think it's a seagull. Comment below about a lot of things. What's the bird? If you know what kind of bird that is. Some, looks like a little dolphin, honestly. Right, we had an awesome day on the water. We caught dinner. We had a lot of excitement out there. We even caught that bird. And um, we caught a tuna. Was super happy about that. And just... It was just a great day. We had to do, we did have to travel very far, and we tried our best kite fishing and trying to catch those sailfish today, but the sailfish just weren't biting. And you know what? That's fishing. But it was still an awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it one or two or a million big thumbs up for us. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel. We have new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about anything, please check out the description below. There's a bunch of links and inf information and a lot of good stuff down there for you to check out. Um, so until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.